Alright, this is the Ace Murray here. You're watching Waterway TV. We lit. Welcome to another episode on the Water Wave Couch. I'm here with today. X Man. X Man. Now you wanna explain, describe X Man a little bit to people in my All right. So I got X Man from like so my family members always call me X Man. And like my nickname was always X. So I like many rap name. I'm like, I might as well just say X Man. It's smooth, so like that's the reason why I made that. Where are you from? I'm originally from Missouri, Saint Louis, Missouri. And I moved up to Minnesota. I'm 19, so I moved up to Minnesota when I was about middle school. So, yeah. Did you start making music in Missouri? No, I didn't, actually. That's the crazy part. Like, I always had, like, that little, like, I wanted to, but I just never did it until, like, two years ago. Mm-hmm. And so, now I'm here. Like, what, what made you start making music then? So, what, you were 17 then? Around 17? Yeah, yep, yep, around there. Were you, yeah. were you, like, influenced by your friends? Or just yeah, music? bro. So, I see a couple of my friends do it. So, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to try it out. And, like, I was trash at first. I ain't going to lie to you. I was, like, buns. And then I just started getting more into it. I took, like, a year off. And then I just got more into it. And I, and I just love that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. For real. Anyone in your family make music before you? Nah. I'm the only one. Where do you think it kind of, you kind of decided, like, why you decided you wanted to make music? Uh, Mostly it's a it's really big for, like, my family type shit. I'll do anything to put my family on the map. I always, I always had the number one goal is to I'm gonna get my family up there, buy them them dream house and shit. So that's that's one of the main reasons I do I do it for them. At the end of the day, what was your dream growing up? Was it to make music or did you have like another plan? All right, so yeah, so here here's how it go. So like usually, so I played football like all my life, and my first goal was to go play football, but like I didn't really end up doing that because I don't really like I wasn't really good at school. So, like, I was good at school, but I didn't really fuck with it. Yeah. So, uh, but I always had, like, the, I, like, when I was younger, I always had, well, run around the house and, like, perform and stuff like that. Like, act like I'm a performer. So, I just, it just, I just started liking out of nowhere. So, that's the only reason. Cool. Do you have any other hidden talents, I guess, besides football or rapping? Shit. Shit, not really. <laughs> not really. Hell no. I, don't, I, don't, I can't think of nothing. Uh, during during like the pandemic, since you won't be able, weren't really to really go out and market yourself, what have you been doing to try to keep your name going or just keep progressing? Bro, just uh, music videos and just dropping songs. Cause with this quarantine Corona shit, I had hella time to write music, so I have like a bunch of songs in the vault. So it's just me just writing music basically and just promote my shit on Instagram, Snapchat. Snapchat's my main platform, mm-hmm. definitely for promoting. But yeah, people starting to fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. there any uh, any video or song you should you would want someone to go look listen to right after this interview that might have never heard you before? Uh, I'm gonna say um, definitely my latest Beast Mode because I definitely went crazy on there, and that was that's that's one of my favorites by far because I feel like I spaffed the best out of all my songs on that one, and that bitch just hit like 2K too, so I think that that one's going crazy right now. I, I fuck with that one a lot. Do you yeah. have any songs that have a deeper meaning to them than just? Any average song you put out? Yeah, actually, yeah, cause um, Moose Move, one of my songs, and that that shit is crazy. And I'm actually filming a video for that next week, and that's the video I was telling you about. So I'm filming that video next week, and I can't wait to get that shit out, cause like that song, for real, deep, deep. Okay. It's basically so. just talking about watch who you're close to, is people like that you can't trust nobody. Okay. Shit like that, yeah. Is there uh, anyone you would compare yourself to in the industry, or like your sound, or just kind of someone you've looked up to? Uh. Uh, I'm gonna say, as uh, far as like, as far as lyrics, I'm probably gonna say, no, actually, I'm gonna say, little TJ, as far as melodic, I have like a lot of rapping slash melodic songs, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably say, I'll probably say him, I'll probably say him. What's like the biggest obstacles you've had to face so far? Uh, like as far as what? Uh, just becoming a music artist and just things that you didn't realize what you're gonna have to actually put a lot of time into maybe oh yeah shit bro um definitely like so when you make music like when i start making i start realize like who's real and who's fake type shit so definitely that and then on top of like like going to work school and in the studio shit like that where i did not expect that was gonna be like i'm hella busy now and like doing shit like this like smooth i, I fuck with it i like it but yeah doing shit like this definitely it's crazy 
but it's mostly just the main thing is like when you make music you really see like who really fucks with you and who really don't and who just there just in case you get big type of shit so yeah that was, that was like the, one of the main things how do you feel about the state of minnesota of just for, for the rap scene Man, this it's hard. Like the only person to do it is probably Prince, but everyone always says, "Yeah, I'm gonna go to Cali and make it." But I'm pretty sure the same people are saying that in Cali right now. Like it just like I feel like if anything, I feel like you have a better chance to come out out of a state that no one's came came out of. So that's that's how I feel about that. So if I ever make it, I plan on staying here. To be honest, you'd say probably just more people just staying here and. Yeah. Collaborating with each other, trying to grow right like, from city to city. Yeah, you know, basically like build up your city, try to build your family exactly. Because like everyone always says that shit, but like everyone always says like, oh, you can't. Make, it's hard to make it in Minnesota, but I feel like hella other states that people that rap they do that same shit. So they say that same shit. So yeah, I, I'm just gonna stick to Minnesota. You think Minnesota has a sound? Uh, yeah, I I think so. Like if you could hear, if you heard like three different rappers, you'd be able to tell which one's from Minnesota, which one's from Chicago, which one's from. Oh, LA. actually. Do you think you'd be able to tell, like, if you, uh, like, if maybe a stranger was listening to him, if they'd be able to tell? Nah, definitely. Actually, I don't know about that. I don't, that would, that would be tough because I don't really have a Minnesota accent because I'm from I'm from St. Louis, but yeah, I don't think you can tell like if like if someone made it out of Minnesota and like they say they're from Minnesota, I bet like hell people be surprised because. I don't think we really got a sound like that. Like, we got some talent out here, but I don't think we really got a sound that you can compare, compare, like, a Chicago rapper and all this type of rapper to Atlanta rapper to a Minnesota rapper. It's going to be hard. Mm-hmm. For sure. What do you feel like the state needs to, like, take a big leap in just, like, overall, like, um, credentials or being, you know, being credible as a state of coming out with good music? Like, do you think it uh, needs to, you need to have, like, a bigger, like, record label, like, boom out here, like, someone that's yeah. actually signing and producing people? Cause, I mean, we have, like, rhyme sayers, but it's almost like they, they didn't, I feel like they just didn't do enough, or maybe for they just real, didn't For real, for real. Yeah. I just don't, like, I'm trying, I don't know what you what you think the state really needs. Well, I think, to, like, what you said, but we need, like, someone just to, like, put us on a map. Mm-hmm. And, like, what's crazy, like, the little thing is, like, for example, Lil Baby and that one song, uh, he, like, uh, the little reporter about the Black Lives Matter shit in Minneapolis. I feel like after like not in a, not in a good or bad way, but after like that whole shit that went down, that definitely put Minnesota on the map, and that definitely is like a way for Minnesota artists to make a song related to that, and that's how you can get put on. But we just need shit like we just need people like big ass producers just to like basically put us on the map. We need one person to do it, and we're rolling. A couple guys to just get those features with big. Big artists that have big budgets. And get well, literally, yes, downtown, bro. You know, no, or, that's what I'm saying. Or have yeah. Drake shoot a music video in downtown bro, Minneapolis or some shit. Bro, with, literally. With like a minute, with shit with like with some big Minnesota rapper, or whoever. Bro, literally, I seen Melly do that shit though. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen that video. Who? Melly. Uh, Y N W Melly. Yeah. I didn't see it. I knew he came to me. But I forgot what song it was. Video. But he he did that. He had a he had a clip like right downtown. But I forgot what song it was. Okay. But yeah, he he did that shit. But I don't think no one really pay attention to that. Cause I forgot what the song name even was. Yeah, I didn't even. Know. No, yeah, bro, you got. Uh, I forgot what the song name was called, but what he did one. He was here. What do you got coming soon? Or you got like a? You got maybe like an e- an EP mixtape anything? Yeah, like that I'm working on an album right now called. Um, I, I'm working on an album called Revenge Tour right now, and basically what I said why I say Revenge Tour is because like, it just like so I had like this big ass boost on like my mentality, my mindset. So basically, I named the Revenge Tour because I'm just like coming at. Like people who like slept on me and shit like that, and like now like look at me like I'm dropping these like these bangers and stuff like that. So it's about to be crazy. It's a it's gonna be a seven song project on there, and I'm working on that right now. I got about four songs done right now, and then other than that, I got a music video coming pretty soon here. I'll probably say next month, and I got a single that's about to drop. Uh, I'm gonna say probably about like two weeks, something like that. Yeah. Do you uh, do you have like a group of people you work with a lot, or are you kind of more by yourself and you just kind of like trying to meet some people, or what's what's your status right now with that? I used to, I used to, I used to be in a group of like like being like collabing with other people, but I mean like I have like rapping friends, but like we just like we all just like went like our different ways, we all did our own thing, but I I, I pretty much stick to like the same producers around here, like one producer named Iman, he co with it, um, mm-hmm. JC he co with it too. But I kind of stick with the same producers who produces my shit, and they're all like low, like close to me. So that that's about the only thing for that. Cool. Yeah. Do you uh, 
have you have you uh do you mix and master your music at all or do you go to a studio for that no i go to a studio for that i wish i could that would be cool i wish i definitely wish i, I definitely want to get into that that would be cool but yeah, yeah that's what i heard a lot of yeah that's where a lot of people i've heard of kind of flipped the switch a lot in their career just to be able to because you just have more time to be able to put out music that's too. what i'm saying well like i always say bro if i'm my own home studio i'll be in that bitch every single night just mm-hmm. Or if I knew what like, I mixed, like, bro, find someone that's like trying to learn how to do it. Well, literally, can, you know, get better together. You know, if you find a friend, that's what I'm saying, bro. I would be in that too. bitch every night. Or if you can, you know, be, become best friends with a producer that like, is mixing and mastering music. Like you guys are both so early, so in your career, it's a great thing. For to real, because one of my boys named C, he make music too. He and he a producer too, but he don't really produce like other people's songs. He mostly produces like his songs, and like he'll produce a couple of my songs. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, me and him kind of we we kind of work together a lot. I'm sorry. He got me on an interview called Soul Cold, Soul Cold Music. He got me on there. He he yeah, he's smooth. So me, and I kind of he's probably like the main person who I like work with mainly. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was the main one. Is there anyone you would give thanks to for anyone that's helped you out so far? Maybe you yeah, looked over your shoulder while you're making decisions or anything like anything like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, see, he's definitely the he's definitely the main one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give it to him. Um, Dex, the one you probably know who that is, who I made Rockstar with. Yeah, he be, every time I'm in the studio with him, he be like, bro, you gotta, bro, I would like, be hitting the note, he be like, bro, you're not hitting that note strong enough type shit. So he like, he would literally make me do it until I hit that bitch. So like, definitely him. And yeah, definitely like, I just have like a bunch of little homies that definitely be motivating me and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your, what's your next thing you got, or what, what are you planning on doing in 2021 to elevate yourself? Whatever you can say, I guess. Shit, um, well, Corona shit is kind of hard, but like, definitely just to get my name like more in a talk type shit, like just, just like, just like more. Basically, I would say like more clout, kind of, just like get my name like more out there, like everybody knows me. I'm getting pretty up there right now, but it's just I just want to elevate my game more and just. Yeah, spread your name as it, much as possible. Exactly, cause I'm serious so thing. I'm mostly like known around. I'm not really known around here. I'm mo- mostly known around like Apple Valley, Lakeville, Burnsville, all those areas. But I'm trying to spread my shit farther, like down here type shit, and then eventually go on from there. Basically, yeah, I'm just trying to spread my shit like down here, like all around Minnesota. Cool. Is there anything yeah. you'd like to add before we finish? Uh, shit, I'll say go fuck with that new recently uh song I just dropped, Beast Mode. Uh, Meet the video on the way, and stay tuned on the come up. So.